What's up guys, Daxy here, and I wonder if you guys have ever seen And It Moves. It's an indie puzzle platformer published by Broken Rules, and I will say, this game should have followed some rules. This game is disorienting as hell. Just take this as a forewarning. If you are prone to headaches, do not play this game. Do not. If you are prone to motion sickness, do not play this game. I am not prone to either one of those two, and just after about 30 minutes of playing, I had to take a break because I felt like I was getting a headache. This game seems to be like something that should have been a cell phone game. We actually have have your phone and you rotate it and that's how you solve the puzzles versus rotating your entire com computer screen. I can see this game pissing off a lot of people that have more than, than have more than like a 20 inch screen. Do not play this on your 47 inch big screen TV. You will get mass headaches. <laughs> I, I, I honestly struggle to find good points about this game. I mean, the graphics are pretty unique. You're playing as like the, like some version of the 7-Up guy because he's got that crazy hair. But the art in this game looks like like a, like a 12-year-old ripped up a, a National Geographic like, National Geographic magazine and digitized it and made this game with it. That, that's what the art looks like. It's not even clean. If you look at all the edges on this, it literally looks like ripped paper. I guess that's the point, but it, it's not appealing. The graphics really do add to the disorienting factor in this game. Rotating your entire screen should never exist. <laughs> At least not in this way, not not borderless, mindless rotating. I mean, the puzzles in this game aren't even hard. You can literally figure it all out just by just by mindlessly rotating your screen and looking at the the your checkpoints, aka your your outlines of yourselves, and they're pointing in the direction. They're they're not even helpful. You had like a lot of times I just found myself rotating around like mindlessly until I figured things out on my own. The, and, and there's no UI whatsoever. Like there's nothing. Like, your entire screen is just designed to be rotated. <laughs> this this game, I really do struggle to find some good parts about this game. The music, don't even get me started on the music. The music sounds like somebody took a microphone, put it to their ass, like farted a bunch of times, and took all the fart noises and mixed it. That's literally what it sounds like to me. Other than that, this should not exist. This game should not exist at all. <laughs> uh, whoever thought this was a good idea? Really, I really do, because this game, you you do not want to make a game that's just designed to, to give you to give you mass headaches. You really shouldn't. This game really did belong on a cell phone. I mean, hell, even even the the way you actually do the levels, the way the levels are laid out in this game, there's no story, there's no plot, there's no nothing. You don't even know who this guy is. You're just supposed to guide him through on this this, this journey that he's going on, which makes no sense. But at the same time. Everything is split off into levels. Basically, you have your cave level, your and your jungle level, and there's another one after. It's not even bother looking at it. But the, the, what you're supposed to do is each one of the levels is completely separated. Just like, like for example, if you were to play like Candy Crush or something like that, everything is separated by each level, and then you can go back and forth between each level, and you, and you have to you have to unlock each level before you move to the next one. This is something that would would work perfectly fine on a, on a normal on a, on a cell phone, but for a PC, for people play, for people to to pay for this, no, hell no, not even close. And there's not even that many levels too. I want to say there's only about maybe ten levels, I think, and each one can be beaten with with each one really can be beaten in about five minutes. So, about an hour's worth of game here, if you know what you're doing. So, I, I really do struggle to find good things about this game. I honestly, I am, I am of the firm belief that every game, there, there is good things about every game. There's a silver lining to every game, because of the, when you really think about it, the publishers and the developers of these games poured, poured their heart and soul into this thing. They didn't just waste their time pulling up, putting out a piece of crap, hoping it sells. I mean, some people do that. But I, I, I really don't want to believe everybody does that. I really don't. Especially with, with the indie titles. They don't have the money or the time to do that. So, it's, it's disappointing whenever you see a small group of, people, a group of people make a game like this and it just absolutely sucks. This game, if green lighting, Steam green light process was in place when this game came, when this game existed, or when this game came out, then this game would have never made it through. There's even a demo for it, and the demo just basically takes you through the first couple levels. That alone is enough to turn you off. That, that really is. If you don't believe me, if you really, if you think you might actually like this game, and you say, no, Dax, you're 
you're an absolute freaking idiot, this game is gorgeous, then by all means, go play the demo. If you like it, have fun. The game's like 10 bucks on Steam. Knock yourself out. You really can't go wrong with just 10 bucks. Hell, if you like it, you want to support them, go for it. If you, I, I have no problem with people telling me that I'm that I'm completely wrong, but I personally think this game's a fact. Crap. <laughs> I played this game for 30 minutes and I wanted to turn it off, but you know what? I'm going to try to do my best for you guys and give you guys the best reviews I possibly can, or at least give you guys the amount the, 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 the save you guys the the stress of going through this because this game is not worth your time it really isn't at least i believe it's not worth your time the, the, there are so much other better things on steam that are that are worth that are 10 bucks i mean hell castle crashers is just was one to name just one to name something that's much better than this hammer watch that game is 10 bucks get that that game is so much more better than this if you're looking for a puzzle game a good puzzle game with with good graphics that'll actually that you that will get you to the spot that you want to finish go play lily looking through go play something else this game is so like for 10 bucks no 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 not even close. Not even close. Hell, Lily looking through Haven has a demo for it. That game was successfully kickstarted, and actually, that game is really damn good. You can check my review out on that one on my channel as well. But this one, ugh. I am literally doing this just to save you guys the trouble. Don't do it. Don't even remotely do it. <laughs> And once again, you know what, if you guys say, oh, Daxia, you're an absolute dumbass, then that's perfectly fine with me. Have fun. If you enjoy it, have fun. Then you see something that I don't see. And you know what, I always applaud the people that see things that I can't. Because that means that that means it's something I could probably learn from you. So I'm not even remotely going to nag or say anything bad about this if you choose to get this game. Have fun, knock yourself out, but I say stay away. Alright, I'm Daxer. This has been And It Moves. Stay far, far away. Thumbs up, subscribe. I don't think anyone's gonna be thumb thumbsing up this one. I don't think anyone's gonna be liking this one. But hey, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe. It does it does help a crap load. Just hit the subscribe button in the top right hand corner. Have a good one. Peace.